Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing some hockey. So I thought I'd put on my jersey. Um, I don't have a whole lot of jerseys. I got this one, Toronto Maple Leafs, because I live near Toronto. And I also have a, an old Winnipeg Jets jersey, because my favorite player was Domi, as you can see, the 28. This was his number. This is it's got his name on the back there. So uh, I'm not a like I'm not a huge hockey fan. Okay, I I got into hockey in the 90s. Uh, where I was playing a lot of like video game hockey, and I I didn't mind going to the odd game here and there, and I watched a few on TV, but I was never like you know the big time hockey or sports fan for that matter. I mean I like some sports, I like golf and boxing and stuff like that, that you know little things like that, but I'm not big into the sports things. So when it comes to the games, I'm also not huge into the games. I I played like the NHL '96 on Genesis, Sega Genesis. And even on my PC, I had like NHL 94, and I, I always like these like little hockey games. So I picked up this one, which is Hat Trick for the Atari 7800. Now for the Atari 7800, I'm usually open when I find a game to to want to purchase it if it's not going to be too much money. Um, this one wasn't a lot of money. I think I paid six bucks for it. Now I know people that know this game. Or that know the Atari 20, this the Atari 7800 are probably saying I paid too much. Um, I probably should have got this for free. Maybe they should have paid me to take this because I heard it's a really bad game. So I was really intrigued after I heard that. I've, I've yet to try it. I've yet to plug it in. Um, but it's hockey, so I thought it's, it's got to be something fun about it. There's going to be something interesting. So I thought let's let's try it. Let's give this a try. Let's put this in and see how hat trick is on the Atari 7800. Okay, so let's get Hat Trick going for the Atari 7800. Um, yeah, okay, it's got a boring kind of screen. I mean, Hat Trick. One player, two player, novice, expert. Um, yeah, so you just kind of up, down, left, right, make your selections. Whatever's yellow, I guess, is your choice. So uh, this is 1987. Um, and then there's like 1984 copyright there. So I guess that's the uh, company Bally Senate sent what I don't know. All right, that that was a little bit underwhelming, but okay. So right off the bat, I'm looking at this game and it's like, where are all the other players? <laughs> I'm I'm starting to think that this game is just really a, a rip off of uh, Activision. Uh, ice hockey game. Kind of more like an advanced palm. Um, you know, I, I, I thought I would be expecting a little bit more of a, uh, you know, an actual hockey game. But this is just one-on-one, -on -one, so... I mean, it's, it's not terrible, but... The sound effects are a little bit, um, something to be desired. <laughs> uh, yeah. It doesn't seem like there's much of a challenge either. I mean, the other player is kind of annoying, but... <laughs> and the, the sound effects are just so... Ugh. I just scored. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm just playing like um, air hockey almost. <laughs> this is going to keep going and going. So you can move the goalie. That's that's one thing um, you're expected to do is to move your own goalie. It's not necessarily going to move on its own. Um, I guess being a one player game you don't have any choice you always have to be the blue character okay the time's gonna run out on this game over <laughs> that's kind of funny this looks like a Zamboni oh weird 
kind of shifts sideways rather than turning. I guess they didn't want to create the graphic of the thing turning. If anything happens when it reaches the end. And it's going to be at the end any second now. And it just goes back to the home page. Okay. Um, let's try expert and see what happens. That just sounds more like a uh, racing car game than a I don't know. Sounds like it would be on like pole position than hockey. And where's the puck coming from? There's no like ref or Okay, so so far I'm losing. Now that I've switched it to hard. Could also be because I've lost interest in this game already. <laughs> okay, let's see. I find the moving is a little bit weird. He's just on my butt, though. Can I, like, beat the stick over his head? Maybe that'll help? I don't know. So far, I haven't figured out any difference in the buttons. Um, you know, like, I'm pushing both buttons. The Atari 7800 has two buttons. Two fire buttons. So, um, usually one does one thing and the other does another thing. But I think in this one, it's not really doing any difference. Like, you could probably just use a regular... Atari joystick on this and it'd be fine. But this really ju just feels like a very simplified game to be on this system. And if they're wondering why the system didn't do too well, I mean, games like this is definitely an indicator. I'm just like, I find myself just all over the place. Oh, and the goalies look weird. They look like little, uh, I don't know. Little bricks moving back and forth. It doesn't even look like a person. I don't even know if it's supposed to be a person. That little uh, charging noise is kind of crappy. <laughs> so now we're just kind of pogging it back and forth. What? That didn't go in? Seriously? Alright. Okay, so putting it on hard actually does make it hard. That, that's good. I've played some games where it just feels like though it doesn't matter what the difficulty is. The game is like almost the same, so... At least it gave us that much. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, I was not expecting that. And in fact, you know, when people said it was awful, I thought it was just going to be, you know... The, the players might be sluggish, or the options might be bad. I didn't think it was just going to be this with a facelift. Uh, and that's what that felt like. It felt like ice hockey for the uh, Atari. Now, there, I like this one. I like, maybe because it's simple. It's, it's just simple graphics. It's blocky characters. It's very simple. Um, and I like how, you know... I don't know the control of it and it's just nice it's it's more of a two-player game like you can play it with one player but um, you know people more ha have more fun on two-player mode this however was literally just that but revamped to make it make it look prettier um, and and instead of going up and down it was side to side um, which I mean I, I don't think that's a big deal it's probably because you know they wanted to make the screen bigger and stuff. But what, like, I had a few questions, like, what were the goalies? Like, the goalies look like these bricks. They, they almost, like, it almost looks like they started programming a Pong game and said, hey, let's throw some hockey players in this Pong game, and, and then you can play Hockey Pong. Maybe they should have called it Hockey Pong. That would have made more sense. So it's called Hat Trick. Uh, like, that's a term in hockey, right? So uh, I guess they thought people would be more drawn to it with a name like that. Uh, there's no licensing in there. I mean, this guy on the cover, he's wearing an Atari... Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, he's got the Atari logo right there. I don't know what the other guy has. It's kind of like... He, he's kind of wearing this awful puke green, uh, yellow... Ha ugh, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. But that's that's pretty much the cover. And, 
Yeah, and I'm talking a lot about the cover because the game was kind of blah. I mean, I I was bored after about two minutes of playing it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments down below. Talk to you later.